guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. If you're new to the channel, hey, welcome. Um, yeah, sorry for this. No hair makeup. I am prepping for Hurricane Helene, so I'm actually recording this early um, and will set it to publish for. Thursday the 26th so hopefully I will probably be without power um, I am in a safe location but I will likely be without power so I'm doing this early and getting it up on the channel and set to publish so I uh, didn't have time to doll myself up for you thanks for your understanding I'm pulling from Divine Masters Oracle Let's see what message comes through for you, my lovely Saggies. Serapis Bay, paradigm shift activation. To grow, make the necessary change. Yes, Serapis Bay. That whole saying, if nothing changes, nothing changes right grow to grow make the necessary change i kind of like that for you um we're in this eclipse wormhole between the full moon and pisces with the lunar eclipse moving to the new moon in libra with a solar eclipse we're all in this release of the past so i like that you're getting that word change um, I'm using a brand new spread both here and in the extended. So I'm just going to pull the cards and I will walk you through it and then uh, we'll clarify. Okay. Uh -huh. hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. So this spread is really looking at not just this relationship you came to watch about. I'm actually going to focus more on that in the extended, but lessons from past relationships as well. All right. It all kind of layers on. And so the lesson um, from past relationships for you might be, you know, that you have been in relationships where things kind of stay up in the air that decisions aren't made that people are you know in relationships with you or you with them are always on the fence or you know nothing really ever happens that people are always stalling for time um it just seems to me that there's like a juggling act it's things are always kind of up in the air you don't really know what you're dealing with and what baggage you're potentially carrying forward from that and on your back is you have no peace of mind there's you know you're always in this sort of uh, state of unsettledness these two together it feels unsettled it feels undetermined it feels up in the air are we on or are we off are we up or are we down are they in or are they out what is it and so there's no freaking peace of mind you can't can't kind of move beyond it right because all these cards are saying the same thing the release what do you need to let go of right there's no happily ever after no slice of the bliss pie for you block what's blocking you from either uh, elevating in this connection or finding new love you're attached here to this sort of the beginnings of what would be in each of these connections it's a block now it's kind of in your head it's playing a game with you this is the 1111 card as well so there might be some notions in your mind of but that's my twin that's my person and we're i'm supposed to be with them or that is the energy that's stuck in your soul at the level of dna even so there could be a block around that for you just FYI, stick a pin in that. What do you need to forgive? That you're not there. Ten of Pentacles. That you haven't gone the distance. You didn't ever get beyond go. 
Things always just stayed kind of amorphous. It didn't take form. It didn't take shape. It all always stayed up in the air. And you thought you'd have gone from the beginning of life partnership and already have arrived. So we need to release the block and we need to forgive that it didn't evolve to that point. And then self-love, what do you need to work on? Well, there's themes of, of commitment here, obviously, right? Themes of commitment and the happily ever after and the nirvana and the bliss and the joy and the and sense of emotional completion in relationship, intimate, of course, partner, life partnership. So we have that theme here with the Hierophant, but the Hierophant also represents the higher self. And it also represents our beliefs around themes of commitment, of the vows we make and take, um, our responsibilities and obligations to our commitments, etc. So I'm guessing that your self-love mission, if you choose to accept it, is to make some promises to yourself from your higher self. Start there. Because those are promises that you can make to yourself and then live up from your higher self to not breaking them. So you always know you're the one person you can trust. You're the one person who won't let you down. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm feeling your, your self-love mission, what you need to work on is focusing on you and what you need to feed yourself. You're, you're coming from your higher self. Um, and your responsibility to yourself. And even spiritually, yeah. Right, um, tower on two of pentacles, things are up in the air, up in the air, up in the air, uh, I don't know, and then it all comes tumbling down, and that, Two of Wands, like, wow, that wasn't really what I wanted. Judgment, second chances, forgiveness. And it, it just kind of feels um, like the lesson here is we're stalling for time. Somebody kind of is like, well, you know, maybe. And so the path is, oh, look at the Two of Wands person kind of staring at the Two of Pentacles, like, are you with me? Are we doing this? No, no, no. And the tower is it's unsustainable. So there's therein is the lesson is you're putting what you want on and waiting on someone else and it's kaput. It's unsustainable. So it's not necessarily tower moment after tower moment, though. For some of you, it could be it's a general reading. So take it as it speaks to you. But it feels like it's more talking about that's an unsustainable pattern. And it's a lesson that keeps being learned over and over again. Judgment is forgiveness, redemption, second chances, re, you know, reconciliation, etc. But the baggage is, but there's no peace of mind. Uh, we're never really getting beyond it. There's always turbulence. Um, you know, turbulence coming from that tower. <clears throat> It's not stable. It's not predictable. It's always up in the air. Right? Never know what's going on. Very triggering. Exhausting. Yes. Always keeps you like off balance, back against the ropes. You're in, in this perseverance and, oh, I'm hanging on for dear life and I'm, you know, really wanting this and I'm, I don't want to give up, but you're afraid. There's like, this is the baggage. And underneath, maybe there's always an apology, so maybe there's always forgiveness. Um, and when I'm pulling from the bottom of the deck, if you're new, it's, I'm tapping into unconscious awareness or something that plays out behind the scenes and Regardless, either way, it's something you can't see. So it's sort of, it's a factor, but it's, it's not something you can account for, but it doesn't make the situation 
any easier from one relationship to the next to the next. It's part of your general nature. If someone says, yeah, my bad, I'm sorry, for you to say, yeah, I forgive you, of, of, of course, I understand. But if it keeps playing out over time, it's unsustainable. And then it's a layering effect. I said this for someone else, I even think it was in the title, right? It like, it, it becomes, it's the, for that person, for that sign, it was the, it was the heart, it, I think it was Libra, uh, right? It's the heartbreak is a layering effect because it keeps happening and before you know it, you've just you become habituated to the pattern. You come, become habituated to the lack of peace, to the uncertainty, to the apprehension, to the exhaustion, to the always cycling through the apologies and the forgivenesses, right? To the instability, the unpredictability, to the thing always being up in the air, never knowing what you're dealing with. Lesson baggage, okay. And we got a release. I might have mentioned that this is a shadow spread. <laughs> so <laughs> we're doing this for a purpose. We're in the eclipse wormhole. It's all about release, release, release. And look what I just pulled. Yes, it's time to release a few things here. What showed up in your, the 10 of pentacles, the four of wands, you're getting a very clear message. Okay. So I'm feeling like all of this part here in the lesson in the baggage is based on maybe a vision of what could be, okay? The hope of what could be, the waiting for divine time of it all, the, um, my, my mom, God rest her soul, would, you know, she would put me through the paces, my triple Leo mother. Well, you know, what do you see in this boy, she would say. <laughs> you know, obviously, I was like 19 or 20, and I'd call him, a, you know, this guy, I mean, what do you see in this boy? And of course, I would say, well, you know, he has so much potential. <laughs> and my mother would say, you can't get shit with potential, Laura. <laughs> she would just so flat out knock me down a peg. You know, but there was something real about what she was saying. So I'm seeing this as what you need to release is the potential of it all. Because that's what you've been. The juggling act, the two of wands, the tower, the forgiveness, the, the apologies, the, the moon, and the nine of wands, and it's all very frenetic for potential. Release the potential of what could have been, what could be, because it ain't there. It's, you know, when it shows up, <laughs> you'll know it. So I believe that's the message here of what needs to be released, to let go of from these past relationships, is the potential of, right, of what you believed it could be, but wasn't. What is blocking you? This four of wands. Hermit, Knight of Cups, Seven of Wands. Again, this sort of waiting. Uh, the patience is fine, but also like there's some kind of, like you've taken yourself off the market as you patiently wait for Knight of Cups, right? For that true love to come for this beautiful connection to begin. Um, and so 
there's a, there's something you've created here and it's coming from one relationship after another after another after another and it may even be happening in this relationship you're in now so it could be a block uh, with some expectation attached to it um and so it's almost like the hermit is that that solitariness that retreat that reclusiveness as you wait for what this idealized vision you have okay and so and i say that with love believe me the seven of pentacles underneath is however long it takes is however long it takes and the message you're getting here is no scrap that scrap that because it's now working against you it's like we've got to clean the slate here and forgive here with this ten of pentacles yeah same thing here this three of wands is the anticipation of you know uh, the deep love uh, the you know person who you would build a life with um but maybe they got what they needed page of wands not a king of cups page of wands and you were anticipating something more so we've got to kind of forgive that we didn't end up where we thought it would go Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands being the pathway, the, be the beginning of. So if you were dealing with someone, King of Cups, who ended up not being emotionally available for anything more than what they got in a moment, you got to kind of forgive and release all of it. And if that isn't a single person, but like an archetype of past relationships and maybe even leading into the present, fine. Like I said, it's a general reading, so it may be different for each of you. But I am seeing like anticipation mixed with a little expectation and patience. It'll all happen. And right, perseverance, nine of wands, and even some anticipation with the moon and yeah. I feel like I'm tapping into this. Self-love is the hierophant, what you need to work on. Ooh. It's interesting because this King of Swords comes in your readings a lot and, and is reflected as a person of honor and integrity. It is a person. It comes in your readings all the time. And, um, right, like that someone you have on a pedestal, someone that, look at this sun card. They're looking at each other face to face someone that you really like that you feel the happiness the joy and then there is that six of cups the past life soulmates so in this hierophant we have that theme of conventional committed relationships we also have the theme of the vows we make and take we also have the theme of beliefs around commitment. Um, and we also have the card of the higher self. Yeah. And honoring ourselves. So it's interesting to me that I'm seeing the one, I'm seeing the 
the actual archetype of what has come through a lot of your readings that I feel all of this that you're that you're blocked by that you need to release and forgive that has maybe caused you some harsh lessons and some baggage that you need to re release from the past. I'm seeing the archetype of it here in support in the clarifiers for your self love card. Okay. So it's, it's an archetype of a message for you. that You've got to show yourself the honor and integrity. Yes. See where I'm headed here? Show yourself the warmth. Be, honor your higher self. Make a promise to yourself. Be your best friend. Because you can always feel safe and protected in your vulnerability with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Hmm. Almost like everything I've seen in your readings for this person you have on a pedestal, it now is flipped. And you have to have those qualities that you see in yourself and put yourself on the pedestal. That's your self-love work. Ah, I just got a chill. So that, my friends, is your message here. Uh, I'm going to go to the extended where I am going to focus on whatever relationship you came to watch about. And what I'm going to do there is pull your energy and your block in that relationship, uh, their energy and their block in the relationship. I'm going to pull a card for the relationship um, and uh, uh, divine guidance from spirit as well as the outlook for the connection, like how it might go heading, you know, how it might unfold going forward, the outlook card. And all of that will be clarified. So the links for that are below, options one, two, and three. Make sure you're aware of what you're clicking on before you purchase. Um, and if you've enjoyed this or if you've been watching for a while and have not yet done so, please do subscribe below. Uh, that is our energetic exchange in this forum. Um, and it allows me to keep doing what I love to do here on this platform. So I'm thanking you in advance for that. And um, with that, wish me luck <laughs> in the hurricane. Um, and I'll see you on the flip side. I'm headed to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.